Five people are now dead in connection to a salmonella outbreak linked to cantaloupes sold in six provinces. CTV's Kamal Karamali is standing by with the latest on the outbreak linked to Malachita and Rudy brand cantaloupes. How many people are sick so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, as you mentioned, that death toll of five people, it is a big jump from the death toll of one person that we saw about a week ago, Roger, uh, which was on December 1st. The number of people who are also now sick uh, from uh, a salmonella poisoning or be, uh, from a ca eating a cantaloupe contaminated with salmonella has also surged. So the number sitting now at 100 129 people uh, confirmed to have salmonella, according to the Public Health Agency of Canada. Almost double the number since last week. Now, Quebec has the most cases, rising sharply to 91 uh, confirmed infections. Ontario has 17, BC with the third most at 15, and two in each of the provinces of PEI, New Brunswick, and Newfoundland and Labrador. People also became sick between mid-October and mid-November, and 44 of those have now been hospitalized. The health agency says nearly half of those who got sick were 65 years or older, and roughly one-third were children five years or younger. So, Roger, clearly a specific uh, demographic uh, being targeted here, either seniors or uh, children primarily getting ill from this, also affecting people south of the border. There are three deaths in the U.S. related to this uh, illness from salmonella in cantaloupes. And I guess the big question is now, what should Canadians be aware of when they go shopping for mm -hmm. food? That's right. The, the main warning is to not buy Malachite or Rudy branded uh, cantaloupes. And if you can't verify the brand, well, it's probably safest right now to throw that cantaloupe away. Uh, experts are also saying uh, illnesses related to cantaloupe and salmonella are on the rise. Have a listen. We are seeing cantaloupe outbreaks become more common, so we do need more education uh, for processors um, about best practices for keeping salmonella out of their fields. Once you make a cut and you push the salmonella from the rind down into the tissue, salmonella grows very well in that tissue. So the advice as of right now is to avoid buying bruised or damaged cantaloupe if you see it out there while you're grocery shopping. Also, uh, you know, uh, cantaloupe can become infected with uh, or contaminated uh, with salmonella if it comes into contact with harmful microorganisms or even if it's in store, uh, it comes into contact with raw foods. Uh, we know that all of the people or at least most of the people who fell ill, Roger, said that they had brought uh, or bought rather pre-cut cantaloupes had already been cut and put into trays in store. So uh, there's a hint for you there that that might have been part of the cause of this illness. All right, Kamal, thank you very much You're for welcome. that update.